Very cool. Very nice. Yeah. Great story. Yeah, great story. All right, great weather. Great weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when do you think it's going to hit 100 degrees? It's going to be late, I'm telling you. Late, like June? May, end of May, early June. What about you, Angelique? All right, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the June 3rd thing still. John keeps saying June 3rd, so why May not? May 13th, I'm sticking to it. Uh, okay. I think it's going to be early. <laughs> but if you haven't heard, our ice break challenge is back, so we want you to guess the first day it will hit triple digits. To enter, you're going to download the News 4 Tucson app, select Ice Break 2018 from the drop-down menu. From there, you'll enter your prediction. You need both the date and the time. And if you're the lucky winner, you can win a brand new heating and air conditioning system from Cummings Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Now, due to the unseasonably warm temperatures and increase in ozone, the air quality in Index is up. In fact, high pol pollution advisory is in effect tomorrow, so keep that in mind. And that is because we are now in the unhealthy for sensitive group category, which is 101. Now, if you are sensitive or you have uh, respiratory issues, you may want to consider staying indoors tomorrow. Ways to avoid the ozone carpool or plan on using public transit, combine errands to reduce trips, or refuel your car in the evening hours. Now, today's highs were quite warm. 90 Three degrees was the high in Tucson. The average is 84 degrees, so we are trending 5 to 10 degrees above average. We hit 90 in Nogales, 91 in Safford, 77 in Sholo, and 96 today in Phoenix. It was a warm one, but it will also be a warm one tomorrow as well. We'll be in the low 90s in the Tucson metro, in the 70s in the mountains, upper 80s in Santa Cruz and Cochise counties, and sunny skies prevail. It will be another beautiful and warm day. And that's all courtesy to this high pressure system in our area, but we also have a low pressure system off the Baja California coast that is going to move into our area over the next few days and we could see some rain come Thursday, Friday into Saturday. In fact, by Friday we see this as we move it through the rain comes in, so we could see some sprinkles to isolated sprinkles come Friday into Saturday and even maybe some thunderstorms as well. So keep that in mind and we could definitely use it because we are now in the severe and extreme drought categories in southern Arizona, so we could take any rain that we could get. Current temperatures in the 70s and 60s right now, 65 in Wilcox, 71 in Benson, 74 in Tucson and 68 in Green Valley. Tonight's temperatures will bottom out in the 50s for nighttime lows and will be in the 90s tomorrow for daytime highs. Winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For Santa Cruz and Cochise counties, 50s for nighttime lows and 80s for daytime highs. Here's a look at your 7-day forecast. 93 degrees for your Tuesday, then 93 degrees as well on Wednesday. But keep in mind, partly cloudy skies. Then we move up into the mid-90s by Thursday. Then that low pressure system moves through. A 10% chance for rain Friday and Saturday. That brings a slight cool down into the mid-80s. I think we would like the mid-80s right now.